All right. So some of you may remember that a couple of years ago, uh, Germany closed a number of its nuclear power plants. Uh, it did this because um, they're dumb and we hate them, and they're dumb uh, and we hate them. Nuclear is based. Unfortunately, the country still needs power. So Germany has uh, engaged in uh, what, uh, what its political leaders are describing as a final solution to the energy crisis, the eradication of a bunch of quaint, homely German villages so coal mines can be uh, <clears throat> dug in their place. They've actually done this a couple of times. There were a couple of, I don't know why the ancient German people or like the, the Holy Roman Empire or whatever decided to build their villages on top of coal deposits, but I guess, I guess they, I don't know, maybe they had a feel for it. So they wanted to destroy another one here called Lutzerath. I've been avoiding talking about this for a while, mostly because I'm Europhobic, but I'm, I'm, I'm coming around to it now, you know? It's worth talking about. So let me see if I can find a nice image of this village that is not a bunch of police officers storming into it. Let me see if I can do that real quick, okay? From what I can tell, this village does not does not seem to have many buildings in it. it seems quite small. Wow, like really, really, really small. I'm having a bit of trouble finding an image with more than a couple of buildings in it. Okay, well, it's quite small. Google Lutze Bliebt. Okay, allow me to just quickly Google Lutz bliebt. So just uh, let me let me do that super quick, okay? I don't know what I'm looking at. That's nice. You know, I don't speak German, right? Yeah. All right. No one lives in this village anymore since last year. It was like three buildings and a barn. All right, cool. You tried, Vosh? Thank you. Germany plans to destroy this village for a coal mine. Thousands are gathering to stop it. It's a stark image in 2023. Police in riot gear flooding a village, pulling people out of houses and tearing down structures to make way for the arrival of excavating machines to access the rich seam of coal beneath the ground. Now, as I understand it, the protesters here, this is not about historic preservation. This is about climate stuff. The thousands of protesters here don't like the coal mine. It's not like they have a huge emotional attachment to the apparently three buildings in the area. Since Wednesday, as rain and winds lashed the tiny West German village of Lutzrath, police have removed hundreds of activists. Some have been in Lutzrath for more than two years, occupying the homes abandoned by former residents after they were evicted, most by 2017, to make way for the mine. More than 1,000 police officers are involved in the eviction operation. Most of the buildings have now been cleared, but some activists remained in tree houses or huddled in a hole dug into the ground as of Friday, according to Ashen City Police. Protest organizers expect thousands more people to pour into the area on Saturday to demonstrate against its destruction, though they may ultimately not be able to access the village. After the eviction is complete, the RWE plans to complete a 1.5-kilometer perimeter fence to snake around Lutzerath, sealing off the village's street sewers and buildings before they are demolished. Uh, it's a tale as old as time. We have a bunch of climate protesters who really don't like the idea of Germany's beautiful hills being mined for coal. For those of you who don't know, some mines mean that you dig a deep hole and wiggle around a bunch underground, and some mines mean that you essentially strip the surface of the land in like a 20 quarter mile area, or, or 20, yeah, 20 square mile area. Coal mines, in this case, uh, certainly, are, are the latter. It is uh, a, a, an environmentally destructive process. It looks quite ugly in my humble opinion. Uh, you know, they literally shear mountains off. Strip mining. Just to give you guys an idea, the scope and scale of human strip mining kind of defies comprehension. You might have seen some of these like big pits that get done sometimes where they we just decide to open up like a portal to hell, you know, like we're in Daimos or whatever. Sometimes you literally just like level mountains here. Mountaintop mining we got right here. Literally like they just like scour the top of the earth. It's quite bad, you know? Obviously, it destroys a lot of viable wildlife. It's also really bad for the environment in the sense that it enables flooding. One of the most important things that greenery does for the environment is it roots the ground, literally roots with roots, the earth in place, meaning that if there are flash floods in the future, a bunch of dirt and soil and crap that previously would have been held in place now gets run off and you, you have like millions of pounds of wastewater that runs off and pollutes, you know, uh, a lot. This is in um, Appalachia over here. So you can just, I, I literally like strips the, the top of mountains.
think Germany is quite fond of this particular style of mining. Germany is the country that has these colossal mega miners, right? These are German, aren't they? These... Oh, God, what opened this time? What opened? I just muted the desktop audio. What happened this time? Sound? Yeah, I know. Where? It was good music? Oh, I'm glad it wasn't bad. Oh, here. Love, love it when news sites autoplay. That's great. Anyway, these are, uh, these are German machines, right? German mining machine. These, um... Yes, yes, you've probably seen this! The largest land vehicle ever made. I believe... Th yeah, these are excavators. I think they're used for strip mining. Uh, it's the largest land vehicle ever constructed. As you can see, it's enormous. Is this Metal Gear? Yeah, it's basically the first Nier Automata boss. The Shuffle Radbaga? Gotcha, thank you. Rules of nature. S stop that saw. <laughs> Alright, please, for the love of God, look at this one. Literally, the earth getting stripped away. Yeah, here you go. This is, uh, there you go. Yeah, see? That's, uh, pretty straightforward, huh? You know, I don't really know the logistics of strip mining. It's a whole field. You know, I'm no expert. This does, however, look pretty insane. It's pretty wild. Uh, environmentalists have taken issue with this for years. I just want to make it clear that this isn't like some anti-GMO protesting or whatever, where, like, sometimes the protesters are just kind of, like, nutters. I think that you have very legitimate reasons to get angry with the um, proliferation of strip mining. Basically just deletes areas in terms of, like, viable life. Apparently this was the village. Oh, this would have been the village before they started evacuating it then. That is a very small village. Cute. Not as old as I thought it would be. You can tell these buildings aren't that old. Well, whatever the case is, we're here to talk about the coal, right? So yeah, strip mining, police, protesters, absurd and catastrophic, people doing a, a, a little thing here, thing that's crazy, whatever they're doing. Great. Let's focus on what matters. The Mud Wizard. I've shown this video before, but now we're talking about the actual, like, segment. Uh, so, uh, you know, uh, on the side of the climate activists, we do have, of course, uh, the Masters of Mystical Arts. You've probably seen this video, but I want to look at it again anyway. Mud Wizard. He's, he's quite powerful. As, uh, cast, uh, uh, you know, he's trying to bring more people over to his, uh, his, his thrall. Man, that guy is really stuck. He's trying to plant a little sign down there. Yeah, his ground softening spell. You know, uh, Greta Thunberg is actually at this protest here. She's not in frame in the video, but I believe she was here at the time this video was taken. <laughs> Another one got stuck! He tosses it, and... Now you can see all the protesters back here. Uh, yeah, they, they just can't make their way through the mud. This does admittedly look like insanely difficult mud to walk through. It goes on for a bit. Uh, so anyway, uh, mud wizardry aside, uh, like I said, Greta Thunberg was actually at this protest. Haha, <laughs> does he have a mask on, Vosh? Probably. And uh, she actually got uh, detained by police briefly. Not arrested, I don't think, but there is a pretty funny video and some images of her smugly getting... Well, climate activist Greta Thunberg has been released from custody after being detained by German police for a second time this week. Thunberg had joined protesters to oppose the expansion of a coal mine operation in western Germany. Police say she and other demonstrators broke through a police barrier heading for a coal pit, which authorities say could have collapsed under the weight of the group. Thunberg was 
was also detained on Sunday after addressing demonstrators and joining the protest. Top G. Top G. Shut up. World-renowned climate activist Greta Thunberg was briefly detained in Germany on Tuesday, alongside others protesting against the demolition of a village to make way for a coal mine expansion. I don't like the way this is being framed because when I initially heard about these protests, the way everyone was talking about protecting the village made me think this was a historical preservation thing. I didn't, when I first heard about it, I didn't, like my impression was that the issue was with the village rather than the coal mining, you know? Um, the only reason this is being focused on with the village is because like having a, a like a physical location to refer to and sort of defend it makes it a little easier to concentrate the protesting. But it's ultimately about the coal. You know, it's ultimately about the strip mining. Thunberg was removed by officers after Tony sitting Burke. with a Tony Burke. That's true. Officers after sitting with a group of protesters near the edge of the Gartsfeiler II lignite coal mine, about five and a half miles from the village of Luetzerath. The village is to be raised as part of an agreement between the government and Germany energy utility RWE. The deal saves five other villages once slated for destruction. The German government has said it needs the mine for the nation's energy security. But opponents say Germany- Okay, real talk though, why the- did they close those nuclear power plants? Eight of the 17 operating reactors in Germany were permanently closed following the Fukushima nuclear disaster. Literally like Pepega nuclear bad, right? Like, oh, a gigantic earthquake hit Fukushima and then like basically nothing happened as a result of it. So like, okay, let's close our tens of billions of dollars of nuclear infrastructure because an earthquake, ooh, ooh scary. So stupid. Nuclear power in Germany accounted by, for 13.3% of, hold on, electricity sourced here. Where's nuclear? Where's nuclear? There's biomass, wind, solar, nuclear, red. Yeah, see? Look! It used to make up a full 25% of their energy, and it's gone down because they closed their energy plants. Look at this! Look! We have hydropower, municipal waste, biomass, wind, solar, and nuclear. All together, these represent the renewable energies, kind of. Um, and then you have natural gas, hard coal, lignite, petroleum products, and other. If the nuclear energy proportion had maintained since what it was back in the late 90s at 25%, rather than what it is here at around like 10%, they could have cut all the way down to here. Germany could have been, rather than being like 55% renewable, it could have been like 70% renewable. But they closed it because woo woo, spooky fucking Fukushima. It was an attempt to appease Russia. Wow, that worked out great for them. Brilliant. Germany was going to make themselves dependent on their natural gas to disincentivize war. Stupid. Stupid. Fukushima killed one guy, literally only one death directly attributable to radiation poisoning. Yeah, how many deaths are going to be attributable to climate change? Already are. Coal kills more people directly and indirectly than nuclear ever could. By, like, huge amounts. Coal has killed more people, uh, in total by an exponential degree than all people to have ever died as a product of nuclear power, including Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Once you start counting in all the mining accidents, everything, and then the people who have died due to the changes in uh, air quality from coal burning and all the shit that's going to happen and has happened from climate change, even if you count in the people who've died from the f bombs, coal is still more dangerous. Yeah, burning coal releases more radiation than nuclear power plants. Did you guys know that? That's actually true. That's literally true. Burning coal releases more nuclear material into the atmosphere with, radi with, with the decaying half-lives than uh, nuclear power plants. Does it really? Yes! Because all of the uh, radioactive material in a nuclear power plant is kept in extremely well-contained lockdown fuel rods uh, that get treated with extreme care. Whereas for coal plants, they just burn the coal! They just burn the... Just send that shit! Power plants are, con are designed to contain that radiation. I looked at it some weeks ago. Over the past 200 years, coal mine disaster deaths are probably at around 1 million, give or take. Insane. What do we do with the waste, though? We have uh, underground bunkers for our nuclear waste. There's not that much, really. How many people die to coal? Yeah, new research finds 1 million deaths in 2017 attributable to fossil fuel consumption. In 2017, by the way. The, the, the single year, 2017. 
This is all fossil fuel combustion, not just coal, but coal represents a pretty big chunk of that. Radiation levels from coal plants. Coal ash is more radioactive than nuclear waste. By burning away all the pesky carbon and other impurities, coal power plants produce heaps of radiation. The surprising conclusion, waste produced by coal plants is actually more radioactive than that generated by their nuclear counterparts. Not to mention, by the way, that the nuclear, the radioactive waste generated by coal is dust in the air that spreads everywhere on Earth and gets in your food and in your water and in your soil. You breathe it in and it irradiates you from the inside out. Estimated radiation doses ingested by people living near coal plants were equal to or higher than doses for people living around the nuclear facilities. At one extreme, the scientists estimate fly ash radiation in individuals' bones at around 18 millirems uh, a year. Doses for the two nuclear plants range from between 3 and 6 millirems for the same period. When, uh, when all food was grown in the area, radiation doses were 50 to 200% higher around the coal plants. Ooh. During the diesel scandal, the Volkswagen cars, there were, a, uh, there were numbers of 20,000 premature deaths due to car emissions each year in Germany alone. Yeah, because Volkswagen lied about their emissions, right? Uh, Volkswagen, the, the car company, they lied about their emission ratings and then like built their cars to, to game the emissions testings. So they were spewing way more shit. That's murder, by the way. Those are corporate heads who deliberately cheated existing regulatory systems in order to pump poison into the air for profit and killed thousands and thousands of people. And who was arrested slash sentenced to death for this exactly? Anyway, Germany felt it very necessary to close down like half their nuclear power plants. Check out what the coal mines did to centralized PA. Or you mean, oh, not cent Centralia PA? Centralia is a borough in near ghost town in Columbia County, Pennsylvania, United States. It's part of North Eastern. The population has declined from 1,000 in 1980 to five residents in 2020 because a coal mine fire has been burning beneath the borough since 1962. Note, by the way, how every American knows about Three Mile Island, even though nothing happened there and nobody was hurt there, but apparently a thousand people fleeing a town. Um, because of a permanent coal burn. It, like, I, I'm hearing about this right now. Three Mile Island led to nobody being killed. Um, but this is, this just, oh yeah, like a thousand people having to flee because of the Infina burn. The town was the basis for Silent Hill. Interesting. Toxic gas and smoke rising from the ground above the underground fire. Cool. In popular culture. Yep. Research for Silent Hill. <sighs> It's just because coal has been accepted as normal and not questioned. Yeah, it's kind of interesting how, despite nuclear energy and nuclear power and nuclear weapons altogether being an industry worth many billions of dollars, our society isn't really controlled by nuclear barons the way it is by coal and oil barons. Isn't that odd? It's, it's kind of weird, right? Because like there are plenty of very, very wealthy industries out there, but for some reason, oil, coal, and natural gas energy barons they are the ones that have this massive outsized impact on, um, on, on our, our policy, on our politicians. It's just interesting. Is it due to oil and coal's ease of use? I have a feeling a lot of it goes back to when these things became popular, right? Nuclear only really became like a broadly discussed, talked about, and, you know, sort of socially accepted thing in the late 50s to early 60s. Whereas, uh, you know, coal kickstarted the Industrial Revolution and oil is like the bedrock for like modern plastic production, among other things, you know, and uh, gasoline and stuff. Yeah, uh, keep in mind, oil doesn't just make gasoline. It makes a lot of stuff, including plastic. And unfortunately, plastic is like a, there's no going back. Uh, there are a lot of things we rely on day to day that need plastic, and that's non-negotiable. There are some things that can only be constructed in plastic. It's just, there's not other, like, things. And, you know, it's a shame, because plastic is actually a very useful, <laughs> it's actually quite incredible. Yeah. Natural gas is relatively recent because you need like specific equipment to harness it effectively. Yeah. Many should not be mining any more lignite and should focus on expanding renewable energy instead. Riot police backed by bulldozers removed activists from buildings in the village. But protesters, including Thunberg, remained at the site, staging a sit in into Tuesday. A Reuters witness spotted Thunberg sitting alone in a large police. She. It, it, I have a horrible, I have a horrifying feeling that Greta Thunberg is going to look like Hillary Clinton when she gets older, where she'll, she'll have this like, 
she'll simultaneously look that she's like 12 and like 50. I don't know. She's like permanent baby face. I don't know. Oh, um, for those of you who don't know, Lignite is basically like, it's basically like if you got a middle point between peat and coal. It's like brown coal, soft brown combustible sedimentary rock formed from naturally compressed peat. Oh, it, oh, literally it is from peat. Okay, I didn't know that. It is a carbon content of around 25 to 35% and is considered the lowest rank of coal due to its relatively low heat content. We're, this, we're, this is like bargain basement coal, basically. This is why they're strip mining. Uh, if you want coal that's like that shiny black stuff, you get that from deep mines because it needs a very high level of pressure to compress. But um, coal that's closer to the surface hasn't been compressed to that extent. It has a lower carbon content. Uh, so it, it's, it's up here and it's like 80% dirt, you know. The combustion of lignite produces less heat for the amount of carbon dioxide and sulfur released. So it's, it's dirtier as well. More carbon dioxide and sulfur released per heat unit. As a result, environmental advocates have characterized lignite as the most harmful coal to human health. Depending on the source, various toxic heavy metals, including naturally occurring radioactive materials, may be present in lignite, which are left over in the coal fly ash produced from its combustion. Okay, have you guys heard about clean coal? It's not real, but this is the least clean coal, okay? Clean coal is not a thing. Dirty coal is. Lignite has a high content of volatile matter. Unfortunately, it's high moisture content and susceptibility to spontaneous combustion. Great. Can cause problems in transportation and storage. Processes which remove water from brown coal reduce the risk of spontaneous combustion to the same level of black coal. Increase the cal calorific value of brown coal equal to a black coal equivalent fuel and significantly reduce the emission profile of densified brown coal to a lever level similar to or better than most black coals. However, removing the moisture increases the cost of the final lignite fuel. Nice. Refining it generally produces a lot of pollution products. Yeah, I mean, that's what we're finding. Yeah. This coal is not worth transporting. It's only burned within a kilometer or so of the mine. That makes sense because it's so inefficient. This bus after having been detained. Police said Thunberg and her group were released later in the day. The fact that all of you are here is a sign of hope. The Swedish climate act I agree. Activists addressed the around 6,000 protesters Damn. who marched towards Luetzerath on Saturday, calling the expansion of the mine a betrayal of present and future generations. Why is that? 6,000 protesters directly at a site the police are trying to clear is a pretty big number. The fake arrest of Greta Thunberg all set up for the cameras, 60,000 likes, versus how the media cover it. What? Greta Thunberg collaborated with the German police to fake what? <laughs> you also want those pretty men? What fit? It's not. She was detained. This is being detained. Hi. Yeah, like, they're holding her, and you can come up and take pictures. You, you can do that. Like, if the police are detaining you, if, if they're standing still, you, you can go up and take a picture. That's allowed. That's not... Okay. Yeah, look, why aren't they shooting her? The police is doing a photo op? You know, the, the police are allowed to, like, hold still if the journalists are taking a picture, right? That's, like, allowed. It's, it's, not, it's not like Greta Thunberg is, like, flight risk, or, like, she's gonna, like, pull out a, a gat and start firing at the... Like, well, it, it's, it, 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 she's a celebrity. They're holding her, and they're detaining her, and someone takes a picture? Apparently, she deliberately wasn't moving, which is why they were holding her like that. Yeah, that's why they carried her off. 